when you look at, this is not business as usual. This is not, we're not talking about like, you know, the, the fact that, oh, well, this could wait until we figure out the legalities of this. We're really talking about the crisis that, you know, Dr. Bell is talking about is getting repeated in tons of other countries. Indonesia is seeing a surge right now. They're seeing similar pictures. India saw a surge last month, it's seeing a similar picture. I lost family members in India while I'm trying to get convinced patients here in my clinics to take vaccines. I had vulnerable members of my extended family who could not get access to vaccine and I lost about three members of my extended family in India. Losses are being sustained at an exponential rate. And so those initial sort of agreements need to be really re-looked at and, and, and potential donations need to be made of that surplus today. In my mind, it is, it is a political will issue as much as any of those uh, agreements. So I'll just- I'll Even if we can get the COVAX, I mean, uh, the COVAX were using Ghana I mean, to start with AstraZeneca, we know it protects 60 to 70% is better than zero. A friend wrote me a few days ago and said, Dr. Fala, I'm scary. I took the first dose of the vaccine. I'm about to go and take the second dose, but there is none available. I'm talking about the AstraZeneca that came through COVAX. We can't get a second dose and there's no hope that the second dose will come. So we do know there are evidence for AstraZeneca, for the Delta, some protection in the Pfizer infrastructure are in place for those two vaccines. But the key, we need to get something at minimum, AstraZeneca or Pfizer. 